One, two, three. Yes! <laughs> So Chris, how was camp? I mean, I've hardly seen you. You come home covered in bug bites, 10 pounds underweight, and sleep for 18 hours straight. Yeah, honey, how was it? Uh, camp was great. You know, we had most of the same counselors and stuff. Oh, mom, okay, great story. So we went on this canoeing trip, right? And we all set up, it was the whole camp, we set up this um, campfire, right? And we sat around telling ghost stories. So I told the one about the mental escapist from the asylum, you know, with the hook. Oh, come mm, on. I've done it. Colin, you know what I'm talking about, the guy with the hook? Of course I know what you're talking about. Okay, so basic story is that this guy who's crazy, he gets out of this mental institute and he finds uh, this couple and he kills the boyfriend, guts him, hangs him from a tree, and then his toenails are scratching on the top of the car. So that night we went around to all the new kids' tents and we scratched on their tents. So it sounded like the toenails, right? Oh my God, we freaked them out so much. This one girl actually peed in her sleeping bag. No. <laughs> Chris, I thought you'd like it. My daughter's crazy. So, are you excited to be back home and catch up with your friends here? Uh, yeah. I mean, it's just that. You know what? Never mind. Doesn't matter. Impressive teenage angst, honey. It's just. Now that I'm back, I can't help but feel like I've missed out on all the summer stuff that's happened here. Like, I can't make up the difference. Honey, your friends will have missed you. And you can catch them up on all that they've missed with you. Yeah, honey, it's not a race, you know? Wow. What an inspiration. What, are they giving prizes for BS now, Mr. Cleaver? Can't pass the pasta? Special delivery for Mr. Rebel Without a Cause. Oh, just stop. Stop fronting. Somebody's got to be in his bonnet. Somebody big be, I'd say. <laughs> yeah, what a big be, you'd say. <laughs> it just rolls right off you, huh? You got dissed. Laughing won't make you the master of that. It won't just roll it off. It sticks right on. I see it on you. Yes, come right in. I didn't know you were coming over. Come on in. We've got plenty of food. Oh, oh I hope we're not interrupting dinner. Sorry about that. We oh, it's no problem at all. We've got plenty of food. Oh, come on in. Thanks. The Mitchell house is the best. Thanks. <laughs> Love seeing you guys. Oh, you too. So who's to be in your bonnet? What's her name, Dad? I'm so bored. Yeah, let's do something. Well, there is this thing at a condemned warehouse, a rave. We could do that. A rave? Huh. I, I, I've never been to one. I've been to one out in Cali. It was weird. It was like being part of a lunar landing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we can do that. So what'd you say, monster? You want to go to a rave? Yeah, you have to go. You have to it'll be so much fun. <sighs> we'll take care of you. Promise.
promise, Colin. Okay. <laughs> okay. But you two, you better watch. Because I cannot, I cannot be bothered.